The proposed pocket is marked, nipple being in central position. Four quadrant pocket measurement is checked before commencing the procedure, leaving 2.5 intermemory distance. After infiltration of 5 ml of xylocaine 1% with adrenaline 1 is to 200,000 on each side, 4.5 to 5 cm inframemory incision is made. Initial pocket made down to pectoral dysphagia by opening and closing the blades of make and do scissors. Subglandular pocket is dissected using electrocautery on cutting mode. Pocket extends from junction of middle and lower third of the sternum to the anterior axillary line and passes obliquely just under nipple aerodural complex. The subglandular plane uh, boundary lies between inframemory crease and the junction of middle and lower third of the sternum up and laterally to the anterior axillary fold. Subglandular dissection on the right breast has been completed and shown in this part of the clip. Submuscular pocket is reached medially at the junction of middle and lower third of the sternum by splitting pectoralis. Once the muscle is split, index finger is inserted and submuscular pocket dissection is completed using index finger. And pocket dimensions are checked in the submuscular plane. Muscle is split using electrocautery on cutting mode up and laterally to the anterior axillary line. Once completed, the two planes communicate with each other. The submuscular plane gradually merges into subglandular plane as seen in this clip. This makes the two pocket to communicate freely with each other horizontally all along split muscle. Similar dissection is performed on the right side where the muscle is being split obliquely from the junction of middle and lower third of the sternum up and laterally to the anterior axillary fold. Hemostasis is performed where necessary and again you can it can be seen that the submuscular and subglandular pockets are communicating freely that will allow the implant to lie in front of the muscle in its inferior part and behind the muscle in its superior part Press parenchyma is marked about 2.5 to 3 cm below the junction of upper split muscle and press parenchymal interface. Marking can be done by indelible marker or a silky stitch. This will allow, allow the breast to be lifted up to 2.5 cm. Prepectoral Subglandular dissection or second plane is continued over upper split pectoralis. This maneuver creates a space for lifting and anchoring breast parenchyma at a higher position, creating internal pexy. This internal pexy or master pexy avoids external scarring in patients where there is a moderate ptosis or class B ptosis according to renal classification and also in patients who doesn't want to have obvious scar on the breast. 
allowing them to have an extra choice of procedure in selected cases. The splitting of muscle creates an upward shift of the superior split muscle which in turn creates an internal pexy on its own. The two planes can be seen lying simultaneously below and above the pectoralis major. Marked points on breast parenchyma is a stitch to lower free border of upper pectoralis major using 2 y krill continuous locking stitches being right handed on the left breast as you can see in this video I stitch lateral to medial and on the right hand side I start stitching from medial to lateral direction the stitches are locking and then secure the approximation of the breast parenchyma and muscle a lot better than interrupted stitches. This also helps to restore the interface of breast and muscle in the superior part of the breast. This superior shift allows better filling of the upper pole of the breast and Im improves the relationship of the inframamary crease to the nipple which is paramount uh, in, the, in, in the treatment of totic breast. This internal lift or pexy in moderate ptosis allows augmentation to be performed without exaggeration of ptosis, rather it improves ptosis in these selected cases avoiding external scarring on the breast and giving an extra choice to the patients where they are not keen to have scars on the breast and we can get away from just an inframamary crease scar which is well hidden and concealed in a enhanced breast. Once the stitching is completed, marking stitches are removed and it also shows 2.5 to 3 cm lift from inside which is the amount of lift needed in these moderate or B-class doses in this group of patients achieving desired results. On completion, lower pole and nipple can be seen to have shifted superiorly filling upper pole of breast. Prosthesis is placed in muscle splitting biplane and in this case with internal pexy. Muscle lies in front and behind the prosthesis at the same time without being released from its external coastal attachment which is the main reason that no dynamic breast or contraction associated deformities are seen. In